Just days after Russia invaded Ukraine, David Dunn from Dublin and his Ukrainian wife Oksana travelled to Poland to take her pregnant daughter Christina and her eight-year-old son Artem to the safety of their home in Swords in North Dublin after they made a traumatic three-day journey, some of it on foot, to escape the outbreak of war. Other families soon followed. At one stage, they had 14 people packed into their three-bedroom home. Their extended family have now moved on, but Artem, Christina and new baby Lucien are still in swords and have adapted to their new home. She likes the Ireland and people support here and school, more important school. Artem loves the school. He won't go to school all I the do, time. I don't like school. I love school. <laughs> First time I uh, understand anything at school. And now? And now it's uh, good. Artem plays football with Swords Manor and has become a fan of Dublin GAA. Up to dogs. <laughs> His cousin Matthew has also settled in well. Uh, when I come to Ireland, I like a little bit scary, not understand anything. Like right now, I be like understand all. I have a good friends. I have a good school. I have it all good. Overwhelmed by the help and hospitality their relatives received, the family are now giving back. We look after approximately 500 Ukrainians in the Fingal area, from hostel appointments to allocation for houses, for everything going into a new site. Christina was a body artist in Ukraine and is now using her skills to establish a face painting business here. And while life appears to be better, the family still miss and worry about those left behind. I don't think I ever forget this year. And I, I don't think can anywhere Ukraine never forget this year. It's very hard and still hard. The family hope 2023 will bring better fortunes for their homeland. Samantha Library, RTE News.